guys how is everybody this morning I hope you all slept well today I'm in the 2018 Suburban from Chevy and I'm driving this puppy all the way down to Irvine today we're gonna go visit some friends of mine who are at Hillbank Motorsports we're gonna get a chance to look at their showroom and see what it is that they're building they have lots of fun with cars and today they're gonna share some with us gonna pick up Ken and we're gonna go someplace we haven't been to before at least not on the vlog left Fountain Valley, heading down to Irvine to Hillbank, and uh, smooth sailing so far. It's really good. What do you think of this massive Suburban? It's massive. Yeah. I need uh, a little Secret Service action, you know, little headsets and things, you know. That's us, man. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> and Superformance. It is the coolest place to work and the coolest job in the world. A few years ago, I retired from corporate life and I was retired for about four months and Lance Stander, who's the owner of Superformance and Hillbank Motorsports, asked me what I was doing and I said, nothing, I'm retired. 
and he asked me to come work for him. And I had set an intention when I retired from corporate life that I was going to do something around my passion for cars and that didn't feel like work. And this is absolutely a thousand percent it. And the best part of it, what really brings me back, I've told my wife this time and time again, is that car people as a community are the best people on the face of the earth. They're always willing to help. They're giving, giving people. You look at all the toy drives that have been happening. You have Motor for Toys, the Purist Toy Drive. I mean, people are just so, so passionate about giving back and about caring for people. And that's what I love. They're just great people. Yeah, Superformance started 26 years ago making replica Cobras and since has become the only manufacturer of licensed uh, Shelby replica Cobras, licensed by Shelby, and actually builds the Shelby continuation cars for Shelby. Uh, here in this building, we have two businesses. We have Superformance, so this is world headquarters for Superformance, which is manufacturing and distribution of the cars, as well as Hillbank Motorsports, which is the largest of the retail outlets. So if I'm talking about factory orders and things like that, I'm Superformance. If I'm talking to you about possibly buying a car, I'm Hillbank Motorsports, so I work for both companies. Superformance has been around for 26 years manufacturing and started out just manufacturing a replica of the 427 Cobra and it expanded to a point where they were making the 289 slab side the 289 FIA when Lance Stander who was a dealer he had Hillbank Motorsports as a dealer for Superformance when Jimmy Price the owner of Superformance put the company up for sale Lance purchased it and became the owner of both Superformance as well as Hillbank Motorsports. Lance uh, would vacation in the U.S. and just came to love it here in America. And so he and his wife moved here. His dad was in the auto salvage business and their company was on the bank of a river in South Africa, I believe Johannesburg, and it was on the bank of the river, so it was called Hillbank. And so when Lance came over to the U.S., he was gonna do the same auto salvage business, but he found it very, very hard to compete but he saw how crazy people were for replica Cobras. And so that's where he became a dealer for Superformance and formed Hillbank Motorsports here in the US. Not only now to with the Shelby licensing deal, which was huge for Superformance, but also doing the Daytona Coupes, the GT40s, Mark I and Mark II, and then the most recent addition, you know, chasing General Motors for six years to get the licensing deal to do the 63 Corvette Grand Sport. One of the biggest challenges that I see is I see people who live not far from here, especially people LA, north of LA, who've never heard of us. And we've been around for so long and we have such a presence. I mean, I deal with people from England. I'm dealing with two customers from England right now, customers from Germany. We just had a customer in this morning from Canada. Yet you've got people in Woodland Hills and Calabasas that don't know who we are. And so I think a big challenge for us, you know, the way Californians are, I moved here 22 years ago, I grew up in North Carolina, but it seems like people in Orange County don't like to venture out of Orange County and people in LA don't like to come to Orange County. So the fact that we're headquartered down here in Irvine uh, presents a little bit of a challenge in that uh, we have a hard time reaching that market. And I think one of the things I would love for people up there to know is it's not that bad of a, dot, a drive. You made it this morning. Uh, time it right with traffic or uh, we do some events we go up to supercar Sunday um, gosh there's another show up in Malibu I'm trying to think oh yeah wheels and waves this is a great show up in Malibu and I, I think one thing we can do is a better job of attending those events and having a presence up there you know when we look at the future for Hillbank and Superformance we've expanded recently as far as the, the Hillbank brand and having a presence in Tempe, Arizona. We opened that store up a year ago, June. We have a presence in Wixom, Michigan, near Detroit. And one of the things that Lance has discovered is, you know, having people that can properly represent the brand because these cars are so special. They are a level above your normal kit car, uh, for sure. And so having people that can really understand and explain that is crucial. And so expanding the Hillbank brand so that we have a little bit of a control over the quality of people and the level of, of interaction we have with our customers and information for our customers is key.
there mm -hmm. is the, the car that used to belong to Paul Walker. We actually purchased it from his estate. Mm -hmm. It's one of two. Back in the late 90s, Shelby built a run of 10 cars called Fam Cars. He had a saying back in the day, Ferrari's ass is mine. And so it's kind of Carol giving a little uh, high one to sure. Ferrari. Sure, sure. He, uh, he built these Fam Cars, Ferrari's ass is mine cars, that made them Ferrari red with tan leather interior, gold wheels, and then put the that's special yeah. special Fam badges on them. Right. And, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. But the... Uh, this car is one of two that has a hand-rolled aluminum body from AC Cars in England. Wow. So it's a pretty cool car. This is awesome. I'll take this one. So that's one of Lance's visions is to expand. So like the next spot for Hill Bank uh, might be in South Florida in the Miami area. That's one area we're looking at. And then also continuing to expand the product line. One of the things Lance uh, recently got done is a licensing deal with Golf. We have the Golf Mark I GT40s now. Uh, one of the things you'll see coming out soon will be a tool room copy of P1075. That was the GT40 that won Le Mans in 68 and 69. We went and did some extensive research while the car was at the Peterson Museum here in LA. Photos, measurements, everything. And we are exactly duplicating that car. Our GT40s are 80-90% interchangeable with an original GT40 as it is, but now we're closing the gap on that last 10-20% to 20 for P1075 and doing an exact replica of that car. So, I mean, if you literally want to own a clone of P1075 and have that in your collection, one of the cars that uh, you might see later if you wander back into the boutique area is a very shiny car that if you're around in 2005 and looking at show cars and cars that were touring World's Fair and SEMA, there was the Ford GTR. It was an updated version, kind of a reimagined update of the Daytona Coupe. And the car was stunning. I'll never forget the first time I saw it. I'm a Daytona Coupe guy anyway, so I saw this car and I'm like, oh my God, I prayed for Ford to build this car. Um, one day I'm here sitting in my office and I look right out into the showroom and I see the GTR roll, the GR1, sorry, the GR1 roll in and I couldn't believe it. Like I've dreamed about this car and here's the GR1 like right in front of me where I work and uh, we're actually going to build that car with the Ford badge on it, both an aluminum and carbon fiber body. And so a year from now, a year, two years, that car is going to be available for sale. So that'll be another item in the product line. And then looking long term, five to ten years out, you know, Lance will only do things that are licensed by the original manufacturer. So uh, some of those things are hard. Like I said, with GM, it took six years to get the licensing deal done for the Grand Sport. And then when you look at the Daytona Coupe, you know, in my mind, you know, Peter Brock, it's one of the most beautiful car designs, beautiful, timeless car designs and functional car designs ever done. I mean, SoCal Hot Rodders beat Ferrari for a World GT title back in 65 with this car. And just, it's a gorgeous car. You know, here in our showroom, we have a range of pre-owned and new cars. You know, by far the bread and butter, the highest seller is the Superformance Mark III, which is the 427 style uh, Superformance Cobra, which is right here. And that car, brand new, you can do anywhere from like $75,000 all done, all the way up to over $100,000 if you want to get really crazy with options and depending on what engine you select. You know, we sell them as a rolling chassis. It's all complete, plumbed, wired, everything ready to go to drop in an engine and transmission. So once you put the engine and trans in, 75 to just over 100, a good average is around 90, 92,000 for a completed car. Then you move up to, you know, the slab sides, the 289 cars, they're about 10 or 15 grand more. You go into the Shelby continuation cars, that's another 50. So now you're looking at 165 or so for a completed fiberglass car. Then you get into the aluminum cars, you're gonna add another 100 grand. So now you're in 265 range. And then you go into some of the specialty cars like the 50th anniversary cars, Sebring cars, things like that, the Bondurant cars. Those are gonna range anywhere from 200,000 to almost $500,000, depending on what body style you select, engine, you know, the aluminum bodies you know, require, they're all hand fabricated, they're works of art. Any color you want, Superformance will build you a car to your specifications. Color choices are basically just limited by your imagination. 
and you can pick anything from the traditional guardsman blue with Wimbledon white stripes to we've done a lot of two stage and three stage custom colors that you can choose from so you, I mean really the limit is your imagination fireball red right fireball red uh, we could definitely do that that place is off the chart I'm speechless amazing uh, hill bank super formants what a, a an amazing toy place um, these guys are having way too much fun especially Doug uh, Marissa wasn't there you didn't see her we'll capture her next time but we're gonna go down to is it the Balboa car show Balboa Balboa Carson Cars and coffee yeah. so we're gonna come down we're gonna drive some of their cars go to that show it's gonna be spectacular but big thanks to Doug and uh, what a great place an amazing host uh, so much information the best of the best incredible